So you thought that Blender 2.83 was a big deal, long-term support, this is it? No, forget about 2.83. I'm about to blow your mind with something. You do, you wouldn't even expect this to happen. So let me let me show you. So um, right now I'm repping uh, 2.9. Right now it's in alpha. Soon it's going to be in beta since 2.83 should be released right now, uh, meaning that now 2.9 is the next priority. Uh, but a new feature was added to 2.9 that makes 2.83 irrelevant. Forget it. You can't. It's unusable now. Let me show you what that is. And honestly, I do like this feature. I just wanted to make a quick video about it. Um, in this toolbar, when we, when you have 2.9 open, you're going to notice a new tool, and it's the add primitive tool. I don't know what it's called, but uh, it lets you add a cube, a cone, a cylinder, blah, 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 blah. And you might be thinking, okay, what's the big deal? Well, let me show you. So right now we have add cube, and it's not like, you know, shift a plane and then you put it or same thing with cube. No, this tool lets you draw lets you draw what you want. So you can draw cubes everywhere. This is for those of you who've used 3ds Max, which I know, I know I shouldn't be saying that word here. Uh, it has this feature. It's actually very nice. So you can draw uh, boxes wherever you want. If you hold down shift, it makes it one by one aspect ratio and same thing for uh, three dimensional. So now it's cubes. So now you could add in a cube that's actually on the floor instead of like halfway in between. And then if you hold down alt, it will do this kind of symmetry mode. So it's not snapping from the corner, but from the center, which again also works in a three dimensions. Okay, fine. Uh, let me go a bit o more over this before I just say all the things I hate about this. But um, so one thing you can do is it doesn't have to be z-axis, meaning like upwards from the floor, normal to the floor. You can do it on the x-axis. Now I'm drawing along the x-axis, same idea. And then y-axis, and you can also control, you know, the depth. I'm not gonna worry about that, but okay, fine. And, and one more thing, one more thing. Um, you could do it from the center, which is basically like holding Alt for you, right? Uh, if you had base, you could just hold Alt and it would do it from the center anyways. So here's, here's the issue with all of this. First of all, and I know it's a new feature. I know it's a bit of a roast, but um, first of all, you're gonna notice that add cube, add cone, same icon. Maybe, maybe, maybe that could be worked on. Add UV sphere, add icosphere, also same icon. Somebody could get confused. You wouldn't want somebody to get confused, right? So clearly this is a new feature, needs new icons, but I do actually have a much bigger complaint. So let me show you what it's like. Actually, let's do it on the Z axis. And notice that this will let you control vertices and whatever properties matter for that object. Um, here's the issue I have with this. So this lets you draw on X, Y, and Z, but there's something missing, something very obvious that's missing, and that's drawing on the normal. So right now I could draw on this and it will actually do it you know on top of where i clicked which is nice it lets you actually stack uh, geometry in a meaningful way but what if i wanted wanted it to go off the normal like pointing out this way well it doesn't work like this you could approximate it with like x-axis actually no it'd be y-axis uh, but generally it doesn't work and something like box cutter which is an add-on it's very popular um something like box cutter already lets you do this so this is going to be normal I mean, I guess now it's drawing inwards, but it is normal uh, to the cone. So this is, you know, technically possible and it actually has a nice UI for this. So maybe uh, they can look at this for, you know, feature ideas. And actually, let me make it go outwards just so you can really see what I mean. So now we're just going to draw and it's going to go outwards. So it's normal to the cone. This also works with what, what, what am I doing using shift A? I need to use the use the new tool. It has really, really cool. Um, you know, I don't know, visualization, is that the word for this? I really like it. It's kind of like that shift R thing that was added for like voxel mode. I do like that uh, quite a bit. Um, but yeah, needs normals, icons <laughs> are repetitive, but this was just an excuse for me to put Blender 2.83 into title. It's a cool feature in 2.9. Looking forward to this being developed. Thanks for watching. <laughs>